Today I'm going to show you how to paint fire. And fire can be very, very hard to paint. But I'm going to show you a way you can do it which is really simple and you only need a few basic colours. Uh, first of all, I will be using a primer. Uh, this is a brush on primer by MSP Paints. And I will have a white. This is from Army Painter. Uh, lawful Good White. And I have two ink washes. I have a yellow wash, old games workshop, 90s edition, and an orange wash, again, another old games workshop, hex pop from the 90s. And I have some solid black. When you're painting fire, it's very good to get some source material. And I find uh, Google is fantastic for photos. You just go to Google, type in fire, go to images, and you'll get a whole host of different fire pictures. And then you can download the pictures onto your desktop and copy from the pictures. As you can see, there's hundreds and hundreds of pictures that you can choose from. So once you've uh, picked a picture of the fire you would like to try to paint, just download it and then you can use that as your reference material while you're painting along. So here is a picture I downloaded from uh, Google and it shows some flames. And as you can see, you can see all the colours. Now, um, tips of the flames are always darker, so you have your orange going into um, very dark. Um, you can, what I do is I dry brush the tops of my flames with a little bit of black, um, the, the center of the flame, um, that's um, pure white down and added with an ink wash, a yellow ink wash, and then I will blend the yellow ink wash with an orange ink wash, and that will go darker to the tips. Today's miniature, I'll be painting the sword on this paladin, and I'll make it a flaming sword. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I shall paint the whole paladin with the primer. And once I've put on the primer, um, I'll come back. Now I have uh, painted the uh, primer coat. I will now add a, um, a layer, or two layers, of lawful white from Army Painter. And I will add that to the, f the flames and the sword. So all this will have two coats of white because you want this as bright as possible because we're going to use a yellow ink wash over the white and you want that white to come through on the areas of the flame. So I shall give that um, a couple of coats of white and then I'll come back. This part of the painting can be a little tricky and quite fast. What I'm going to do is I am going to add the yellow ink wash. And while that ink wash is still wet, I will add some orange towards the tips. So what you're doing is you're letting the ink do the work for you. Um, like I say, this is a fast way of doing flames and quite effective. So here we go. So I'm just using a character brush from Army Painter and I am going straight from the top and covering this area with yellow. Very simple. Boom and that's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tissue just to go into the recesses a little to bring out a bit of the white. So I want some of that white to show and make it look more like the flames. So we're removing just tiny parts, tiny parts of the ink wash from the center of the flame. And that'll give you that bright yellow center. And now I'm going straight in. I haven't washed the brush. I'm going straight in with the orange. I'm just going to go over the tips of the orange and because it's still wet the ink should 
do the work for you. Again, use your tissue to take excess paint away. Like so. There you go. Look. And making sure the tips are the darkest points. So as you can see, I now have um, um, a white center with the yellow flames going into orange. I'll just quickly wash my brush. And I'll do the same on the other side. So going straight back into the yellow. Just cover the whole thing. There you go. I don't need to add any orange on this side because I am actually using the orange which I used on the other side of the sword and it's be, you be, be coming through, excuse me, coming through on the other side. All we need to do on this side is take away some of the excess that's gone into the recesses to make it look more white. So I'm going to take some away from there and just there. Lovely. See, there we are, focus. Now I'll let this dry and I'll show you the last little stage of how to do very simple flames. For the final part, I like to add a little bit of dry brushing on the tips of the flames of just black. Now I'm just using a small, small dry brush from Army Painter, tiny bit of black paint, taking off the excess on the tissue. I'm just going to go over the tips of the flames. Tiny, tiny. Little speckles of black. Just adds a little bit of extra to the flame. There you go. Um, it's just the most tiniest amount, but I find it just adds a little bit more and it looks like it's burning. There you go. There. And there you are. That's all you need to do to make some effective flames and for a beginner I think this is a perfect start. So until next time.